Good day guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are just kind of mucking around in the shed. Um, we're in lockdown level 4, so not an awful lot that we can do unfortunately. Um, it is what it is, we're almost out. Um, I had a few videos in our back pocket so that we could keep the weekly videos up um, going. So yeah, today we're just swapping over some wheels on Lando and I'm just going to explain to you what we're doing uh, while we're at it. So, um, long story short, the Silverstones they, I've had them about 18 months, they're pretty cooked now. Um, I bought them because I had the intention of doing winch challenge um, events in Lando and then never really ended up doing them. Um, and then yeah, they've just had a lot of road caves. They're awesome on the coast, they're an awesome tyre but they're just wearing down super fast. I'll show you them. Um, you can see they're like heaps of heaps of meat on the edge but in the middle they are probably down to say 8 to 10 mil, something like that. Um, probably doesn't help that I bent a steering arm and didn't notice and had like an inch of toe in or toe out. And um, yeah, they weren't loving life. Anyway, um, Silverstone's going. We've got the new tyres. We've actually had them for ages and I've been teasing at it for a while as well. Um, but they're finally going to be going on shortly. Um, so we're just going to put on some different rolling wheels so that we can uh, deal with the V locks and the new tyres um, during the week. So. We'll go and grab a set of roller tyres and swap them out. That's all the wheels off. Uh, next step is to uh, let all the air out and uh, take off the beadlock rings, pull the tyres off um, so we can get them nice and ready. Um, as you can see, Lando is now looking pretty lame. Um, that fitment is proper weak. Might also be time to change the headlight fluid. <laughs> but yeah, it's good to have those all swapped over. We'll get to uh, pulling the tyres off the rims. joys of having uh, dump valves. Nice and easy to air down. So we just uh, took the opportunity to straighten out the beadlock rings. Dad just did it with a brass drift. Um, and now I've got the joyous task of 144 bolts to undo. So uh, let's get into it, eh? Not a fun job, but I've undone them all. Um, key thing to note, before I started the time lapse, I went around every single one and cracked all of them uh, just using a just a socket. Um, don't go and chuck an impact straight on. Um, you'll break the probably break the tip of the Allen, something like that. Um, so yeah, don't do that. Also for those of you who aren't in such a serious scene of full driving and may not know what bead locks are, basically when you've got your tyres real low, um, low pressures, uh, the bead wants to fall off the rim because there's less pressure holding them on. Um, basically the bead lock ring clamps down on the tyre and pinches the bead so that it can't fall off at low pressures, so two pieces like that. So. Now you know what a bead lock is if you didn't already. Probably most of you do, seeing as you watch my channel. But uh, anyway, we've got um, tubes in these tyres as well. Um, so I've just got to unscrew the little locking ring on the uh, on the tube. 
Now this bit here, oh, that bit there, just unscrews. And then that can be pushed through. And um, yeah, that'll be pushed through. And then we can uh, pull the tires off, hopefully. Probably gonna be a bit of a battle, so it'll be all right. Well, we uh, tried to take the uh, tire off the rim. Obviously, we've still got to pop the back bead. Um, so we tried pop that one um, just by using the trick of the rangy up a piece of wood to push down on the bead and try and pop it, but wasn't having it. Those tires are well stuck on, so um, probably just take it to the tire shop at some stage during the week and uh, get them off. But yeah, it's a good good uh, afternoon's progress uh, made on these. Um, so yeah. Hopefully, fairly shortly, we should have um, some new tyres to put on Lando and uh, a whole lot of other stuff as well because um, we've got a truck that's planned for about a month and the plan is to try and do a bit of a refresh on the truck before then. Um, just bits and bobs need doing. Um, yeah, just stuff to be done. Um, I'll come and show you one of the one of the things we've done is gone and uh, I don't know if you can see under there, probably not. Um, Gone and bent one of the rear rear arms. Um, yeah, the truck's ignition system is pretty pretty tight, so we've got to go through change a lot of that. I'm um, gonna throw a new throw a new locker and a couple of other goodies. So Lando's getting some loving, which uh, it's been overdue for quite a while. So that's all coming up on the channel. And as soon as we're out of lockdown, we'll hopefully be able to get back out on the tracks as well, do um, do a bit of full driving. Um, I've been missing it, really been missing it. And uh, yeah, so that, that's coming up, um, and then the subscriber meetup, still got no date for it, but uh, we'll be making sure to uh, schedule that in, because um, I know a lot of people were pretty disappointed about um, having to postpone it. I know oh, I certainly was, but anyway, bit of a different video, bit of a shed video, I've no idea how long this is, but continue to uh, stay safe in lockdown, um, give us a like if you enjoyed today's video, uh, leave a comment down below what you thought of it, if you want to see more of these shed vlogs and uh, we'll catch you all in the next one. Cheers for watching, we'll see you then.